cancelled. Sussex planning to hand back money to Netflix before dragging boycott to Montecito. It's me, me, me versus a morality issue. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are at risk of losing out on more lucrative media deals by being seen as boring, as he warned the success of Harry's controversial memoir would be crucial to their financial future. Thus, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should hand back the money they received from Netflix and not collaborate with the streaming platform. Together with a £100 million deal with Spotify, which includes Meghan's Archetypes podcast, the agreements provide the couple with significant financial firepower. But this could be at risk in the future if the public begins to tire of their regular pronouncements, according to PR and marketing expert Mark Bukowski. The most important thing in the modern world is that they generate column inches and eyeballs. Everything will come down to the success of the book and the deals with Netflix and Spotify. If they do well, then they could still be attractive to media outlets looking for subscribers. Given they're no longer connected to the royal family with the exposure that brings they need to create their own energy. The danger is, they become boring. Mr Bukowski said the couple's expensive lifestyle, which revolves around their £11 million Montecito mansion, could see them partner with a Silicon Valley tech firm such as Mark Zuckerberg's Meta. The firm's share price recently plummeted amid concerns Mr Zuckerberg's multi-billion dollar investment in the idea of the metaverse, a series of virtual worlds where users can engage with each other in virtual reality, would fail to pay off. There's a bit of a downturn in tech at the moment, but I'd expect that as the dust settles, we could see them sign another deal in that industry. Meta are facing huge problems, so who better to generate a conversation around their idea of the metaverse than Harry and Meghan? They could be promoting it or creating their own virtual world themselves. Royal commentator Angela Levin believes the decision should be taken due to the Crown's upcoming dramatisation of royal family history with season 5 released on November the 9th. The latest series is expected to include events leading up to Princess Diana's death, though Netflix has said the exact moment of the crash, impact, will not be shown. Harry has quite understandably attacked the appalling role of the press in his mother's tragic death. In every major media outing, notably the Oprah Winfrey interview and Finding Freedom, the authorised Harry and Meghan tell-all by Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand, the drip 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 of anti-royal family poison is always there. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is a master at veiling attacks beneath a blur of virtue signalling and racism accusations. She was at it again this week, declaring that what other people call difficult, or what some of her Kensington Palace staff call bullying, is just her being particular. But where Meghan is nimble and crafty is when she smuggles in resentment disguised beneath unctuous nicey-nicey clothes. It's a trick she's taught Prince Harry, and that hypocrisy is bound to echo through the new memoir. I think it's extraordinary, particularly Harry, who said he thinks about his mother every night and it's terrible when photographers click their cameras. It makes him very nervous and unhappy. And there he is, working, making money from a company which is taking no notice of this whatsoever. Miss Levin also said it's necessary to think what's more important between making a load of money by producing content for the platform, including a rumoured docuseries focused on the Sussexes' work, and not having the actual death of Diana portrayed in The Crown. 